Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing side and angle properties of a parallelogram level two. Uh, commenter right here on the channel, Nusaiba Fatima, she recommended it. So thank you for letting me know that I needed to take on this Khan Academy. But let's go ahead and dive right into it, see if we can figure this out. It's asking us to find the value of X, Y, and Z. Now, before we get into it, uh, let's first kind of recollect from level one, what are some of the principles driving uh, some of these solutions. The first one that we have here on the top is that if we have a parallelogram, which I circled here, um, opposite angles are the same. So these opposite angles are gonna be equal. And then the other thing is these angles, consecutive angles are gonna be supplementary. So no matter which way, two consecutive angles are gonna add up to 180 degrees. So that's a principle that we're gonna use in these problems. The other principle we're gonna use are related to transversals with parallel lines. So if these purple lines are parallel, and then we have a transversal, that's a line cutting through those two parallel lines. We'll have things called alternate interior angles. Those are on opposite sides of the transversal but on the interior of these two parallel lines and they are equal to each other. And then same side interior angle, so if this is a same side angle, these are not equal, but they're equal to 180 degrees, so they're supplementary. Okay, so those two basics, let's go ahead and dive into these problems. Shouldn't be that bad. Okay, we got a couple clues here. We have this 40, we have this 120 here, and actually I'm gonna start with the, let's start with the 40. So if we look here, we have parallel lines here and here, Okay, and then we have a transversal in between them. Let me change the color of that transversal. We have this, that's a miss. There we go, got it. We have that transversal in between them. Notice how we have this 40 here on the interior between the two lines, and then that Y is there, so we'll make that Y blue. That would be alternate interior angles. They're on alternate sides of the transversal, but they're both on the interior, so they're gonna be equal. Therefore, oops. I want the undo. Therefore, this Y is also gonna equal 40 degrees. So that's a 40 degree angle is the Y. So this is 40. We're gonna punch that in. 40. Okay. Uh, now I wanna try to get back up. Okay, let's see if it's lined up again. So far, no. Okay, there we go, cool. All right, done with one. Now we need a Z and X. So X, we already talked about opposite angles of a parallelogram, different color please, there we go, are equal. So we have X and that is equal, but we don't know what that is. Therefore, we, if we know that this is 120, this angle and 120 are a linear pair. That means they add up to 180 degrees. So 121 plus our missing angle, which we know is gonna be equal to X based on this principle right here, opposite angles of a parallelogram, plus X. We can, cause this is also X, that's a little sloppy, sorry. So this is also X, is gonna be equal to 180. So we just need to subtract 121 from 180 and we get 59. So 59 equals X. So we can go ahead and punch that guy in, 59, cool. All right, then with that, now we're on to Z, okay. If we have this right here, a diagonal drawn in our parallelogram, see that it makes a triangle. One of the properties we know about a triangle is that it has an angle sum of 180 degrees. All the angles add together equal 180. So if we know this is 59 and that's 40, we know that 59 plus 40 plus Z, what color should Z be? We'll make it Z red. Plus Z is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we just need to solve for Z. So we're gonna do uh, 59 plus 40, that gives us 99. So 99 plus, I'm gonna make this red still, equals 180. And then we're gonna add, uh, subtract that from both sides to solve for Z. So we subtract that from both sides and we should get 81. So Z equals 81 degrees. And that's probably the best, fastest way to solve this particular question is like that, how I just showed. But you have to know those properties of the parallelogram first in order to do it. Okay, it lo looks like this one's a little bit more simple. We, uh, we have find X and Y. Okay, so there's X and there's Y. Okay, done. Now, in all seriousness, we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal lengths. 
So these sides are going to be equal. These sides are going to be equal. Notice how it says y plus x there, two variables, where this one only has one variable with the x. So we're going to start with the purple. We know that x is going to be equal to 7 because they need to be equal lengths. So x is 7. Now, if x is 7, we can replace this value right here and say that it is y plus 7. And we know that's equal to its opposite side, which needs to be equal 18. Therefore, we just subtract 7 from both sides, and we get y equals 11. So 7, 11. They probably did that on purpose. Just, just knowing Khan, he's a, he's a comedic guy, that Khan. 7, 11. There we go. And check it. Next question. Okay, another one of these. Okay, uh, complicated one with a diagonal drawn, splitting it up. Um, hopefully, you guys are getting better at this. Hopefully, you can see that we have one right from the get-go. What is it? Did you say x equals 121? I hope so because those are opposite angles and we know x is gonna be equal to 121 because they're opposite angles of a parallelogram. Okay, next one, here's a clue. Now there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm just going off what's obvious to me. We have parallelogram, or <laughs> we, yes, it's a parallelogram, but we have parallel lines with a transversal. So what does this mean about z? What does this mean about z? What does this mean about Z? There's Z, there's 19. They are opposite, uh, sorry, alternate interior angles. They're on the interior between the two lines, but they're on opposite sides of this transversal. So Z is equal to 19. So we're gonna plug in 19 for Z, okay? And now we're just left with Y. Okay, here's the other thing about parallelograms. We already talked about this. Also, is that consecutive angles are equal. So we know that, so, not equal, add up to 180, pardon me. So we know that 121 plus Z plus Y equals 180. Well, we know Z is 19, so we can say 121 plus 19 plus Y, and let's make Y green equals 180. Okay, 121 plus 19, that should be 140 plus Y equals 180. So we're gonna subtract 140 from both sides and that's gonna give us y equals 40. Good to go, look at that. y equals 40, okay, and that's it. Got all three angles. Next question, and the last one. Okay, this one looks complicated, it's not too bad, find x and y. I'm not gonna do that same joke I just did. Okay, so what do we do here? We know that these two sides, opposite sides, are equal. They're congruent, 4x equals x plus nine. Okay, and we also know that these two sides are gonna be equal. So that means 2y minus four equals y. So we can just solve these two equations. What we're gonna do here is we're, I like to subtract x. Always start with the variables, that's my suggestion. 3x equals nine, we divide by three. We're gonna get x equals three. So this whole side length is gonna be four times three, 12. This whole side, nine plus three, 12. So we know that's a correct way to do that, so x equals three. Now let's do the y's. It'd be wise of us to do that one next. So we're going to uh, add four to both. Mm, no, what did I just say? I said we gotta handle the variables first. Can't believe I'm not following my own advice. Um, you don't have to in this case. Like actually, it probably makes more sense to subtract two y. It generally is better to do variables first, but in this case, it's actually not. So I'm eating my words a little bit. Never too uh, proud to admit when I'm wrong. So we have negative y equals negative four. We can divide by negative one or multiply by negative one, whatever you want. And we have four equals y. Now let's plug that in just to make sure. So we have two y minus four. So that'd be eight minus four. That would be a side length of four. And then the bottom one, it got cut off. And that'd also be four because y equals four. So we have our answer here. We're good to go. Three and four. And that is uh, level two is complete. Where's that bell? Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and just know that this was based on a comment. So if you need more help on anything, leave more comments. I'll do more videos for you. Uh, I'm here to help you out. Thanks for watching again. And I can't wait to see you next time on West Explains Best.